Good morning. I hope you're well. Welcome from a sunny and warm England. Here are three top and easy tips to make your product images on your e-commerce store pop. So the product image on your store is going to be one of the most important visual ways that you're going to sell your products. And here are three things you can do today to sell more products by making those images really, really stand out. Right, here are the three examples I'm going to show you and talk you through step by step how I achieved each one. First idea, put your image, put your product image against a colored background. In this case, we put it against a black background. We've made the whole of the product page black and we put the image cut out against it. And I'll show you step by step how you do this. There's no technical um, knowledge needed whatsoever. And it's, you know, it looks beautiful. You've got this beautiful watch set nicely against this black background. That's the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do. Here's the second one. And this is similar, but we're gonna we're gonna actually use a um, a shaped background where we've got this really cool shape going on behind it. And I've got I'll show you a really cool app where you can design these beautiful backgrounds uh, and customize them as well really easily. And then the third example, which I'm gonna show you how to do, is where we actually take the product image, in this case this prom dress, and we make that product image the whole of the background. So we're really, really um, I mean it looks extraordinary, right? And rather than just having a little product image we're, we're really showing off the product to its full beauty so those are the three things I'm going to show you how to do we're going to start with the colored background one of the main challenges you're going to have potentially when you're trying to create these um, uh, products against a background is that you need to cut out the product so it has a transparent background now you can either do this outside of WordPress using a tool like Photoshop you can get somebody to do it for you but I've discovered this amazing new tool uh, a couple of weeks ago which will cut out your images pretty much perfectly every time. Um, super quick, automated. So here's the product I'm going to show you how I did. Um, this is a watch product image that I have or I've downloaded from unsplash.com which is a free photo library. Um, and then this tool is called cutout.pro. It's a fantastic tool. Um, it, they have a free version and then they have a version that you pay for which basically lets you download higher resolution. So you can test it out. Uh, just cutout.pro. And here's an example. Uh, you just upload your photo and it cuts it out automatically for you like this. And it works pretty much perfectly. As, as, um, in all the testing I've done, it works absolutely brilliantly. And then you can just download the, your photo here. Okay, so you see, you can buy credits to download the higher resolution ones, but it's pretty cheap. So it's definitely worthwhile. Um, especially if you're building an e-commerce site. You can also do batch processing as well with it. Um, so I've already downloaded one and you see how it just cuts it out, cuts out the background. It works really, really cool. Um, and then I've got a product here ready. Now we're using, in this demo, I'm using our uh, WooBuilder Blocks plugin um, to build this product. And with WooBuilder Blocks, this uses the block editor to customize the product page. So you can, can you see how we can add these uh, background colors uh, you can also choose um, gradient colors as well and cool stuff as well like that here. So if you want gradients, you can you can do funky gradients. But we actually, in this demo, we're just going to have a black background. Um, but what we're going to do to start with, let me clear that. What we're going to do to start with is just add our product, product image. So I've already got my um, image uploaded here. There it is. And it's cut out as a transparent PNG. And then you'll see when I view this now, can you see there's the product cut out? There's, you can't see that, um, that gray background behind it because it's been cut out. And now all we have to do is basically put the background against it and it'll really pop. So in WooBuilder Blocks, we have this new option over here, this product tab, which is brand new, just being rolled out this week. And over here, this is where you can set the background color. So you can choose any of these colors or put in your own custom color using this custom color picker here. Um, and there's my sort of black color that I wanted. Just update it and let's go and view it. And now we'll really see that this product is now set against that black background. But can you see how it's cut out beautifully? So it just sits on that background and, and really pops. So compared to where that's just against the white background, um, I think, just think it looks stunning. Right, let's move on to tip number two. And that is, that's gonna be using your product uh, image as the full background. Right, here is tip number two and that is to use your product image as the entirety of the background. So rather a small little product image like you would normally see uh, on a WooCommerce store, we're, we're using it as the background to the whole product page. And again, we're using our WooBuilder Blocks plugin to design this product. 
And this is very straightforward. So here's my uh, product that I've set up. And this is just built using the Gutenberg block editor. So I'm just using, in this case, I'm using, um, if you know Gutenberg, and if you want more details on how to construct a page like this, I'll put a link in the description below to show you how to use Woo Builder Blocks and Gutenberg, the Gutenberg block editor to build a page like this. Uh, but we've essentially, all we've done here, if we look at the layout, uh, we've added a column, columns block with two columns. Uh, and the first column we've actually, we've um, just added some content. This is the first column here. And that's the only column we've actually used content in. And we've just got um, a few Woo Builder blocks in here. We've kept this pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We've got the product title block over here. And again, with Woo Builder blocks, you can change uh, the font size over here on the right. So if you want to bump this up, you can do that. And you can change the font um, family and you can change the alignment of that. All that's got sort of good stuff. You can also change uh, this, sorry, this one here is a product price block that automatically brings in your WooCommerce product price. This is the short description block. And this here is the add to cart block, which is another block that comes with WooBuilder blocks. Now we have customized this slightly with um, WooBuilder blocks. You can change the layout of the add to cart block, which is a good idea, um, I think, for when you're using a background image because we have this, you see this option here, this outline button view. Um, if you don't use that, then it goes back to the sort of traditional box, I guess box button layout, which isn't so elegant um, when, you, when you're trying to show the, the background layer behind coming through the elements on the page. So that's basically how we've constructed kind of the core elements of the page. And then in WooBuilder Blocks now, we have this new option. So you've got a product tab here. This is all brand new being rolled out this week, very exciting. Uh, where you can actually choose a background image and that background image will cover, it's set to cover the entire background um, of, the, of the product page itself. The other thing that we've done, and that's all I've done, I've just uploaded that product image and you see how it's now showing behind. So it's, it's, it's pretty easy to do, but it just looks stunning. Um, and then the other thing that I've done on this page, uh, and again, these are settings that come with WooBuilder, is I've hidden the header, I've hidden the sidebar, and I've hidden the footer. You know, that's not essential. You don't obviously don't have to do that. But I think you know if you're that you know if you're trying to create a landing page, for example, where you've got one product and you're you're sending people to that page and you want to hide the navigation, then then I think that's a really cool thing to do as well. So that's all we've done. We've just basically used WooBuilder blocks to add a background image, which happens to be our product image to this entire page. But I think it looks absolutely stunning. So right on to the next one. This final idea is really cool and beautiful, I think. And I'm gonna show you three examples quickly of how I've used it, but you can use it in many different ways. Here's the first one. So this is to add beautiful um, colored backgrounds, but also with shapes and layers in. So this is an example where we've got this lovely wave effect going on down here. And the way I've designed it is that we've actually got the product information above it. So it kind of sits above it. That's the first example. Second, second example is this, where we have a, this is called a blob, <laughs> a blob background. And in this case, we're using the blob here to kind of highlight the product image. And again, the product image has been cut out. So we're combining some of the tips we've, tip number one and, and this tip in this example, uh, where we've actually used this background. It's a background image, um, which is created with this beautiful blob. And I'm gonna show you an amazing app where you can create these backgrounds really easily. So that's the second example where we're highlighting the product itself with color. And the third example is this one here. And again, this is the same idea as the first one, but we're actually sitting the product on the sort of the, the, the layered, <laughs> the layered um, background. So it looks like it's physically sitting on it. But again, actually what we've done here is we've, we've cut out the product image as a transparent PNG, and we've just uh, uploaded a background um, image with has, has this beautiful layered effect, but goodness me, look look how that makes the image pop out. And we've, in the design of the background, we've picked out some of the colors of the watch strap. So it sits nicely within the context of the whole thing. So the whole thing makes a coherent, makes coherent sense. And the app that we've used to design these is this. Now I can't really pronounce it, but I will put a link. I will put a link in um, the description for you. It's called Heike. Heike, I think it's Heike. And you just go to the website and basically you can design uh, all these different layouts. So they have a blob, a wave, a blurry gradient, um, and you can customize them. So over here on the right, you can pick your own colors. So if you have, you know, like I did, 
Oh, that's strong. Um, so if you you can pick out your um, product colors and chuck them in here. Uh, and then you can basically just design these blobs and you can have different designs. They've got this cool little dice down here that you just click it and it'll create different shapes. Isn't that cool? Uh, and you can change the shape manually over here as well. Now, this is a bit of a time eater, so you could spend a lot of time on this, so just be a bit careful. Once you're happy with it, oh, that's cool. Once you're happy with it, can you see you can just download it as a PNG over here? And then all I've done within uh, our WooBuilder Blocks plugin, I've added that as the background image to the product. So you can see the sort of thing you can do. This is their gradient background, so you can create this nice blurry, you know, these are more subtle. Uh, this is the layered waves one. This is the one I actually did for this, can you see this? But I added in my example, I changed this top color here to be closer to the color of my watch strap. So all I did was I picked that color and there's, I, again, there's a great tool, um, this color picking tool that you can use, which lets you basically pick any color from a website. I'll try and put a link to that in the description as well. It's a Chrome add-on. I think it's called Colorzilla, but I'll check and put it in the description for you because it's just a huge time saver. So I've just copied that basically yellow color. And then you can go here and you can just paste that color in. And can you see how that's just taken the color and put that in there? And again, you can roll this dice to get different shapes. How cool is that? And you can change the shapes over here. And then once you're happy, you just download it as a PNG and upload it using uh, WooBuilder blocks as the background image to that product. So let me show you this one, this blob one that I did which I think is great. This happened sort of by accident. I was just playing with blobs and I thought it'd be a great idea um, to use the kind of blob idea to circle in a you know, non-completely um, uniform way the, the product image itself. So you'll see when we go to the product here, can you see all I've done is uploaded my blob background over here as a background image. And then you can see a preview of it over here as well. And again, the, the product images here have been cut out using Cutout Pro. So we've, we've we've created the transparent PNGs and then we've created the blob background and we've put them together and you get this fantastic um, finished result. So there we go. I hope you found those useful. Um, there's three simple tips uh, to really make your product images pop. I think they may make a huge difference to the product page, which remember, is probably the most important page on any WooCommerce and e-commerce website, that individual product page. So the more you can focus on making that as good as possible, the better. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did enjoy it, um, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic because it really helps spread the word. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button because I'm doing more and more. I'm trying to do two videos a week at the moment. Um, more and more around the block editor and WooCommerce. So thank you so much and I shall see you soon.